Hi peeps, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. Today we will talk about CSS grids and how we can make a responsive navigation bar by just using grids without the use of float left, float right, padding, margin, etc. Now we don't need any floats properties to make navigation bars. So it's just a few lines of code and hope you will learn something from it. So let's start it. So this is the navigation bar which I have made with CSS grids and a hover effect added to it. It is completely responsive. When we resize the browser, it changes to one column layout. See, it is completely responsive. Work on mobile phones, tablets, desktop. I haven't used any floats, margin padding, etc. for it. It is just simply made with custom CSS grids. So let's jump to VS Code and start writing the code for it. We are in VS Code and I have provided an HTML file and a CSS file which we will use. And in HTML, I have written a div with a class of container which is the parent of all the elements in it. And then I have six items in it, each one with a class of item. See, these are the items which we will use for our navigation menu. And for CSS, some root elements like the variables which we will use for the nav bars, a light blue color which we will add for the background, a hour effect color and a color for the text. For body, a background of linear gradient, font weight and some basic stuff. Now let's write the code for the container. Dot container. We will show the container is a grid. So display grid and we'll divide it into six columns because we have six items. So repeat six into one fr. Now save it. See it is divided into six columns. It is automatically saved because I have my live server on so I don't have to refresh it again and again. Now I want that name bar to be a little down. So I will provide a margin, margin top and I think 20 pixel will be okay for it. So let's save it. See it has a margin top of 20 pixel. Now we will give each item a background color. For this we will use at item class background color for background color we will use this variable which we have set in our root variable into light blue let's save it see every item has now a background color but we want each item to be separate so for this we will provide the container a grid gap grid gap of 20 px so let's save it see now each item has a grid gap of 20 pixel now we want to center the text in each item so text align center we will give it a padding Pairing of 5 pixel from each side and a border radius from each side. Border radius 2 pixel would be okay. So let's save it. Now each item has the text in center and a border radius of 2 pixel. Now we will add a hover effect to each item. So for this we will use that item into hover when we hover on it the background color should need to be changed to variable into hover which we have set cursor pointer transform and we want it to translate y 5 pixel. So 
so let's save it see it has a hover effect add it now it is not responsive see so we will add some media for this and it will become responsive at the rate media to maximum width 768 pixel when the screen resizes to 768 pixel are below so the grid template columns should need change to be 1 fr and it has to be a padding of 0 pixel from top and bottom and 40 pixel from left and right now see it is responsive in the screen the size is to 768 pixel are below it it changes to one column and it has a padding of 40 pixel so this was all for today's tutorial hope you have learned something from it and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content thank you